Tokoza koko. Tokoza. Eh. Eh koko. Ninja. Nati api la ninja. Tokoza ni makule kumshot. Eh. Kule ube ube ose ube ukhoto. Yebo yebo. Tokoza. Yebo koko. Yes. So today we are meeting, um, you know, just to talk about our African spirituality, because many of us, as the current generation, we tend to, you know, not knowing our roots and not knowing our cultures, our traditions, and also our spirituality seem to be almost forgotten among us, among us African people. So before I have to undertake our interview, I would love for you to introduce yourself so that we may know whom we speaking with. With and ugogo when ugogo bani ni seven second chance. Tawazan mantwa sakaya. Mina na kimwekezi wahasi wahakwen. Kitori di fan di taro zali soto kikwen na kimwekezi kisi kimotaun. Empa kali bizo laka na labo kosi. La madlozi, kikula ba tagati, kibisole kikulengona. Wow, that's beautiful. Kikula ba tagati, which means you are you are not defeated by 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 witches. Eh, that's that's what they said that I'm not defeated defeated by witches. That's beautiful. Kikula ba tagati means that you beat everything. Nothing that comes to you. Yes. <laughs> so I would like to find out when they say uh, uh, in African code term, uh, there's an African term where people tend to say, you have a calling, there is a calling. What is that? What is the meaning of that? I think that we all have a calling. A calling is a duty that you are, you are born to do that particular work work it's for you not for anybody else but it's upon you but as well uh, african people rather mm -hmm. calling is mm -hmm. a special thing mm -hmm. not everybody's called mm -hmm. But we, be, I, I believe in that as a sort of a motto. For the calling is for everybody. Mm. You choose your particular, but you get chosen for you to be able to communicate with your past mm -hmm. in dotted commas, mm -hmm. because it becomes difficult sometimes when we explain things in English, because we don't go fully into explaining. Things. Into explaining, we just in put things and we're thinking that people they understand but they don't understand, understand. Mm. it's always better to explain what we do in our own language you can explain what the calling means in our own language why bits of one over shock why bits of cause of when i'm rain when i'm say to let me know we let's say such a as well how I'm saying it it's not for you you're not called for you to say I own and I'm a king and I can own everybody you are not a president you are a worker at any hour at any time this is your job and then that's what you do you don't sleep Wow, wow, that's 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 beautiful. So you are a calling is someone who's uh, uh, given an opportunity to work for ancestors or to work for God. No, I don't work for ancestors. I don't work for God, but they work through me. Mm, <laughs> God and ancestors work through you through me, to deliver to some deliver. messages and to maybe heal and guide people. All the hands, all the spirituality that comes. It comes not because of I design it, mm. but it comes mm. because of it's been put there every second, every moment. Wow. Is there any difference between you being called Gogo -go because you are a man and they're calling you Gogo, -go, and then you will find a woman that is called Mukulu, and there are those who are called also Sangomas? Is there any difference among <coughs> all those, uh, all those uh, titles? 
I don't think that there's any different, but I don't think that there's any different. Mm. It's all the same. I mean, in English, mm. <laughs> I'll laugh a little bit. In English, what do you call a sci scientist? He's a scientist. He's in African, what do you call a sci scientist? A scientist, if I'm not. <laughs> I'm sure. Moloi. Oh. Mtagat. Wow. Okay. Like here. Yes. Sangoma. Who is she? The scientist. The doctor. They call. They doctor, call them yes. doctor in Doctors. English. Yes. Like here. Yes. Is it different between a nurse and a doctor? Uh, yes, because the doctor is the one prescribing medication, and the nurse is the one assisting the doctor. Yes. So, as we are one. <laughs> oh, okay. We do all. Sangoma, mm -hmm. spiritual person, mm -hmm. we do the same thing. Mm -hmm. Because of, mm -hmm. we hear from other ancestors, from Goba Tada, when they tell us that this is a plant that you gotta use to heal this yeah. one. When we do that. Wow. It's not that men. I wake up in the morning and I say, oh, there is one and two. It's been given. Each mm. and everything comes spiritually. Spiritually. Wow. Wow. So uh, if I understand that everything comes spiritually, does it mean that when a person has a calling, they all have to undertake what is called initiation? Because I do believe if it's spiritually, a person can definitely, uh, I would say, maybe fulfill whatever had been delivered through their spirit without having to undertake or undergo under an initiation. What would you say about that? How, how do you do it without understanding it? How do you do it without understanding it? Because of each and everything, in dotted commas, mm. you say scholars. Mm. Mm. In dotted commas, they say they've got degrees and masters. And masters yes. Why do you obtain such? Such. I think it's to be better in that field of of knowledge. We get that knowledge from the one that has been there, that has passed that spiritual. Journey. success and mm -hmm. journey they pass it on and it continues yes. mm. wow. that's, that's really <laughs> it's not written down eh? <laughs> none is written down, down. nothing mm. is written down so when 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 doing that job of ancestors being called sangoma being called healers and mukulus and gogos uh, do you worship? Is it a worship of God as the creator or is it a worship of, uh, of uh, ancestors who, have, who, who had been maybe our elders and our old people that had passed on, maybe who left that knowledge with us? Whom are we worshipping? Christianity is a worship. No religion is worship. Mm. They worship. We don't worship. We balance. Okay. We don't worship with balance. So um, we currently see that the practice of spirituality, you know, as you're saying that uh, religion, like Christianity is religion, uh, Buddhist is man-made and all that. But Spiri Spirituality is not religion. Spirituality is not man-made. It's, 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 it's not man-made. It li you live with it. You, you live are, it. You are born with it. Yes, yes. Okay. All right. But for you mm. to become religious, You've got to understand the Bible like that. Yes. But it's written by who? By a man, by a human being. Buddhism. You have written? a book also, he's a human being. All it's got books. Books, yes. But we African from. spirituality. African There's people. No books. A message has been passed from one to the other to the other. Mm. That's what we fill it in. If, if that's the case, uh, with everything that you've just said <coughs> now, we tend to see that in our community. Healers, Gogo, Sangomas are rejected, especially with the current generation. Like when we see maybe having a Sangoma or healer in the family, we rather say they are evil or they are wicked or they they having witchcraft or we even want to push them to go take it's a, it's deliveries. A, it's, a, it's a taboo of Christianity. At all the time I'll come back to Christianity and say, Christianity, you've done so much damage mm. to African people. 
you've made us as African people to believe in you and really said what we do as African people is not important. We have westernized ourselves. In many ways. Death, through slavery, they did it and westernized us. How we can educate our African nations about our own people, about our own knowledge, about the people that we live, like Sangomas, healers in our families. What would you say? What would be the message that you can share with them in a way for us to be able to live peacefully with our own? Ah, that question always arrives. Mm -hmm. I want us to really like look at this question. You see, as you ask me, it sounds a bit Western with ignorance. How can we educate our kids? Mm. I've got two boys right now. Mm. They are living throughout a spiritual journey. journey. They don't know about it. No one taught me about this journey. Mm. But every time, because of their purity, this little one. They are still pure mm. through them. When, in most cases, as a woman, I'll always deny you to come inside. Mm. Because of, as a woman, you've got so many things that you have that you're dealing with. Like, for instance, naturally, menstruation. Mm. You know that when you go to menstruation, mm. you don't cook for your men. Mm. But in the Western world, we cook. <laughs> you cook yes. and we eat. Yes. You don't have to. Wow. <laughs> there's a power that it gives to you, there's a power that it gives to him. Mm. And there's certain things that it takes from you, and there's certain things that it takes from him mm. as Africans. Mm. Mm. Today, for instance, we practice that equality. Mm. They say, hey, equal rights, men and women, we're the same. We practice equal rights. Hey, women have to, we put women in front. There was never no one, no, there's no man in front, there's no woman in front. In front. Do you know that one? Mm. That there's no I man in front, mm. there's no woman in front. Together, we make. Happen, yes. You know? when my masculinity it works mm. we know when the feminine it works and the two balances each other mm. so if ever we are feminine the two of us does it help you <laughs> if ever we are masculine Both. the two of us mm. does it help me mm. well, at the end of the day you go separate and become woman Umbo water, you become umbo water. <laughs> what is umbo water? Umbo water is a uh, power to the woman. Mm. It's power to the woman. Mm. But the way it's been taken right now, it's so rational mm. that we looked at it from the Western perspective. I see we take a somehow Western degree and say, no, I'm a pastor. Mm. I'm a bishop. I'm a bishop. I've got a paper. Mm. You see, even this work as well, right today, they want the paper to say, are you certified traditional healer? Wow. So before there was never qualifications given? But it was just some rituals and some ceremony that were done. It's not just. Oh. It's a process. It's a process, yes. Okay. It's <laughs> a process. Yes. Because if you are born, when you are born, you live with your mother and your father. Mm. And through the process of mother and father, you, you begin to understand the mechanism of life and survival mm. Mm. is the same thing in Sangoma. Mm. 
you are born and you come as a child. You leave everything. That you know. You leave everything. And say, I'm here. What do you want to, me to do? They work on, uh, upon you until you deliver what they want you to do. No, we don't know whether we deliver, but they'll always demand and ask. It doesn't, it doesn't stop. stop. So, since we are at the end, what advice or what will be your last words? to share with all those who will be watching this video as to, you know, a message from Ugo go to them. Take time for yourself. Listen to yourself because of, we've got messages that are coming to us through dreams. Mm -hmm. Whether you're sleeping or you're awake, message is always there. Mm -hmm. We always see things. Mm -hmm. And then sometimes you don't really pay attention to these things. Mm -hmm. Please let's be vigilant and at all the time look at each and every sign. Do not be paranoid though. Mm. Don't be paranoid. Look at the signs when they come to you and try to understand them. Mm. Every day, each and every moment, you know, there's a something that passes you and there's information that, that thing. is given and shared with you.